In a revelation shaking the scientific world, SpaceX and NASA have just unveiled the first real image of 3i slash ATLAS, an object not born of our sun, but cast from another star system. Glowing, active, and unmistakably alien, this interstellar visitor is now visible to humanity. Not a theory, not a dot on a graph, but a comet from the cosmos, seen in detail. The truth is out, and it's only just beginning. The arrival of a cosmic messenger. The morning of the 1st of July, 2025, marks a quiet revolution in our skies. At the remote survey station of the Asteroid Terrestrial Impact Last Alert System, ATLAS, network in Rio Hurtado, Chile, a faint object flickered into the frames. Known now as 3i slash ATLAS, this discovery heralded only the third confirmed interstellar visitor ever recorded. Following 1i slash Aumuamua, 2017, and 2i slash Borisov, 2019, the manifest importance of this finding is immediate. We are not merely watching a new comet born in our sun's domain. We are witnessing matter ejected from a distant star's realm entering our own solar system. The data quickly confirmed a hyperbolic orbit. This object was not bound to the sun. It was literally a visitor from elsewhere. Initial measurements placed 3 e slash ATLAS speeding at tens of kilometers per second relative to our sun far faster than typical solar system comets, strongly suggesting an exotic origin beyond the conventional family of Kuiper Belt or Oort cloud objects. In that moment, we set the stage. A silent rock, cast from another star system, now threads its way through our neighborhood. Without fanfare, it becomes our messenger, carrying stories of distant times and places. In the hush after discovery, the next chapter unfolds as humanity finally captures its image. The moment of proof, image released. The turning point arrived when spacecraft and ground-based telescopes revealed the first real image of 3i slash ATLAS. High resolution frames taken by the Hubble Space Telescope on 21st July, 2025, show a distinct fuzzy coma surrounding the nucleus, set against streaked background stars because the telescope tracked the object. These images move the story from mere trajectory data to physical presence. A glowing halo, a tentative tail structure, jets of dust and gas possibly visible, the visitor becomes real. The technical challenge was enormous. At roughly 670 million kilometers away at Discovery, faint, fast-moving, with hyperbolic motion, 3i slash ATLAS required rapid pointings, precise tracking, carefully selected filters, and exposure times. In that moment, the world changed. The pixels arrive, the visitor shows its face, and the truth of its existence outside our system becomes undeniable. No longer a dot in an alert feed, but a real physical object. Now the questions flood in. What is it made of? Where did it come from? What will it do next? With the image in hand, the next door opens to chemistry, to the fingerprints of another star system. The chemical fingerprint from another star system. Spectroscopic observations of 3i slash ATLAS have revealed a chemical story unlike typical solar system comets. Early ultraviolet data spotted water vapor and OH emissions, even when the object lay at large heliocentric distances. More significantly, the ratio of carbon dioxide to water ice appears unusually high. For example, an 8 to 1 ratio of CO2 to H2O has been quoted in recent studies, while other volatiles typical of comets in our system appear depleted or shifted. What does this tell us? It suggests that 3i slash ATLAS formed under conditions unlike those of the Sun's protoplanetary nebula. Perhaps it was born far from its parent star, in a colder or more volatile rich zone. Maybe its formative environment allowed CO2 ices to dominate where water ice did not. This object is a time capsule from another world. For planetary science, this is crucial. We are no longer extrapolating from our own system. We are sampling chemistry from a foreign system. The implications ripple out to how we understand planetary formation, ejection of material into interstellar space, and the diversity of star system architectures. 
Transition. Having seen its image and scanned its chemistry, we now follow its motion, its speed, its path through the solar system. The trajectory and speed. The orbit of 3i slash ATLAS was never in doubt. From its earliest plotted path, its motion traced a hyperbolic arc, the unmistakable signature of an object not gravitationally bound to our sun. It was not falling inward from the Oort cloud, nor looping along a long period comet's elliptical route. This was something else entirely, a true interstellar traveler, here on a single fleeting visit. Its heliocentric velocity, speed relative to the sun, was measured at around 58 to 60 kilometers per second, or roughly 210,000 kilometers per hour. For comparison, that's more than double the escape velocity of the solar system at Earth's distance. A rock moving that fast doesn't belong to us. It's not simply passing by, it's moving through. Some sources have even quoted hyperbolic excess speeds, suggesting it entered the solar system, already carrying significant momentum, evidence of an origin deep within the Milky Way. The object is scheduled to reach perihelion, its closest approach to the Sun, on or around 29th or 30th October 2025, at a distance of approximately 1.36 astronomical units, placing it just inside the orbit of Mars. From there, it will begin its outbound leg, fading quickly from view. Our observational window, already narrow, will soon close. This reality changes the tone. 3i slash a t l a s isn't a relic gently orbiting the sun, waiting to be studied over months or years. It's a bullet from another star, a courier launched by gravitational slingshot or ancient chaos, delivering its message in a flash before disappearing into the dark once more. It demands immediacy, of attention, of curiosity, of action. As its velocity carries it inward, 3i slash a t l a s begins to respond to the sun, releasing gas, shaping its tail, and revealing internal truths we could never glimpse otherwise. Revealing Structure Even at vast distances, over 600 million kilometers from the sun, astronomers notice something unexpected. 3a slash a t l a s was active. It wasn't just a cold, dark rock gliding silently through space. It was breathing. Observations in August and September 2025 revealed a growing coma, the halo of gas and dust enveloping its core. Jets of material streamed outward and a faint but distinct tail stretched behind it, illuminated by solar radiation. Activity at such large distances is unusual. Most comets in our system only wake up as they near Jupiter's orbit, with water ice beginning to sublimate into gas. But this visitor showed signs of volatility much earlier, suggesting the presence of low temperature ices like carbon dioxide, CO2, or carbon monoxide, CO, which sublimate at colder temperatures. This aligns with spectroscopic findings and strengthens the case for an origin in a colder planetary nursery than our own. Estimates of the nucleus size vary wildly, from as small as 0.3 kilometers to possibly 5.6 kilometers in diameter. The coma's structure, meanwhile, is asymmetric, showing jet-like features perhaps driven by localized venting on the object's sun-facing side. Dust modeling suggests irregular emission patterns, pointing to an uneven surface or varied material composition, perhaps pockets of more volatile ices mixed with inert crust. This is the object's moment of revelation. As the sunlight strikes its surface, it begins to shed the skin of time, the gases it exhales, the dust it trails, the light it reflects. All of these are data streams, carried across millions of kilometers, telling the story of a body shaped under alien conditions, now reacting to our sun's touch. But beyond how it behaves lies a deeper question. Where did it come from? And how long has it wandered the void before finding us? Where did it come from? The answer to 3i slash a t l a s's origin lies not only in its speed, but in its direction. Using back trajectory modeling, astronomers have traced its incoming path, not to a nearby star system, but to a broader region, the Milky Way's thick disk, a component of our galaxy composed of older, metal-poor stars. This suggests that 3i slash a t l a s may have formed in the outskirts of a long-dead planetary system 
orbiting a low metallicity star billions of years ago. Its age is likely astonishing. Formed perhaps 5 to 10 billion years ago, the object could predate the formation of our own solar system. For eons, it would have drifted between stars, nudged by passing masses, deflected by gravitational fields. A frozen survivor of ancient collisions, planetary migrations, or stellar disruptions. Its ejection mechanism, while unknown, is presumed to be gravitational. Perhaps a massive gas giant, early in its system's evolution, flung it outward after a close encounter. Or perhaps a stellar flyby in a densely packed birth cluster hurled it into interstellar space. Whatever the cause, the result is extraordinary. A worldlet detached from its home star, navigating the galaxy alone, until, by random chance, it intersected our solar system's path. From a cultural and philosophical standpoint, 3i slash A T L A S becomes more than a comet. It is a time-worn messenger, older than Earth, delivering us a direct sample of the galaxy's deep past. Not theory, not simulation, but matter itself. Born in another cradle of stars, shaped by alien winds, now sharing its secrets with us under the gaze of our sun. With its origin glimpsed and its structure laid bare, we now turn to the broader implications. What does this mean for science, for astronomy, and for our future ability to catch such messengers again? Implications for astronomy and planetary science. Every time the cosmos sends us a traveler like 3i slash ATLAS, we gain not just data, we gain perspective. It joins a tiny catalog of known interstellar objects. Only Oumuamua in 2017, Borisov in 2019, and now this. But where Oumuamua was dry and elongated, and Borisov behaved more like a normal comet, 3i slash ATLAS adds a third point to the graph, and its behavior challenges both expectation and model. It forces us to ask, how many such objects drift silently between stars? Are they rare relics, or is our solar system constantly intersected by these quiet emissaries, too faint to see? New calculations suggest billions may traverse the Milky Way, ejected in the chaotic early lives of planetary systems but only with better technology. More sensitive surveys like LSST, more sky coverage, faster reaction times. Can we catch them? 3i slash ATLAS also puts future missions into sharper focus. Concepts for intercepting interstellar objects, like ESA's Comet Interceptor or NASA's ideas for fast launch chaser probes, no longer seem speculative. Imagine the potential of a spacecraft reaching one of these travelers before it leaves, sampling its gases, mapping its surface, or even returning particles to Earth. We would hold in our hands the chemistry of another star. The implications ripple across disciplines. It informs our understanding of planet formation, volatile delivery, cosmic migration, and even the chemical diversity of life-hosting environments. And more deeply, it reminds us we do not exist in isolation. The debris of other systems doesn't just drift elsewhere. Sometimes, it comes here. And when it does, the world notices. Not just scientists, but everyone. The arrival of 3i slash ATLAS wasn't just a discovery. It became a moment. The public moment and truth is out narrative. In a time of rapid media churn and digital overload, few space stories cut through. But 3i slash ATLAS did. When the first detailed images were released, a faint object with a glowing coma, drifting like a specter through deep space, headlines erupted. Alien visitor, some declared. Comet from another star, others explained. The image gave it form, and suddenly the public could see it. Not an idea, not a theory, but a thing. This is the power of visuals in science. When the Hubble images were unveiled and the object became a shimmering nucleus with a trailing tail, millions of viewers engaged. Teachers turned it into lesson plans. Artists rendered it in glowing pastels. Children asked if it might be alive. Scientists, meanwhile, worked quietly to temper speculation with clarity, reminding audiences that while this is an object from another star, it is almost certainly natural in origin. Still, the fascination endured. Some voices, like Harvard's Avi Loeb, 
revived the idea of artificial interstellar probes, echoing the debates that swirled around Oumuamua. But for most, 3i slash ATLAS became a gateway to wonder, not fear, a reminder that our solar system is not a sealed dome, but a crossroads. And in that moment, a deeper truth surfaced. Discovery doesn't always offer answers. Sometimes it offers questions wrapped in stardust. And those questions, about origin, destination, meaning, linger long after the image fades from headlines. Even now, as the visitor draws closer to perihelion and begins its retreat, we realize how many mysteries remain. What we know is only the beginning. The unknowns and mysteries still left. For all we've learned, for the images, the spectra, the trajectory maps, much about 3i slash ATLAS remains unknown. Its true size is still unresolved, ranging across kilometers. Its internal structure is invisible to us, hidden beneath coma and jets. Its origin point, while traced to the thick disk, lacks a precise stellar parent. The galaxy is simply too vast, too chaotic, and too old. Some scientists whisper more provocative theories. Could it be artificial? The odds are low, vanishingly so, but the mere existence of such travelers has reignited debates about techno-signatures and galactic archaeology. Even the suggestion pushes the boundaries of scientific discourse, challenging us to ask, what would it take to know for sure? Instruments capable of close-up imaging? Spectra with unmistakable chemical patterns? A captured sample? Meanwhile, Natural mysteries abound. How will its activity evolve after perihelion? Will new jets emerge, revealing deeper volatile layers? Will its tail twist or bifurcate as the solar wind alters its course? Will its albedo change as more surface is lost? And when it departs, by early 2026, fading into interstellar darkness, what legacy will it leave? Will we ever intercept another such visitor in time? Will its trajectory help us refine models for where such objects come from? These are open questions. The story of 3i slash A, T, L, A, S may be told in fragments. A few images, a handful of spectra, a list of coordinates. But the narrative it opens is vast, unfinished, and waiting. And so we arrive at the final question. Not what it is, but what it means. What does the passage of a rock from another star system reveal about us? The Bigger Picture In a universe of 400 billion stars, the odds of any one piece of cosmic debris finding its way to us seem infinitesimal. And yet, it happened. 3i slash ATLAS is that piece. A messenger cast adrift, wandering through time and space, now briefly within reach. And in watching it, we do more than observe. We participate in something ancient. We are a species defined by curiosity. For millennia, we looked up and told stories about what we saw. Stures, comets, omens. Now, with modern tools, we no longer guess. We measure, we model, we reach. When an object like this appears, it becomes a moment of shared human attention. A stone, adrift for billions of years, finally crosses our skies. And we notice. That noticing matters. It transforms the event from random to meaningful. It tells us that we are ready, not to control the cosmos, but to witness it truthfully. Ready to ask hard questions. Ready to rethink what's possible. Ready, perhaps one day, to go meet these travelers in the interstellar dark, rather than waiting for them to pass us by. In the end, 3i slash ATLAS is not an ending. It's a reminder. The universe is open. It speaks occasionally in the form of rocks and dust and motion. And if we listen with eyes, with instruments, with wonder, we might just understand a little more of where we are and who we've yet to become. As 3i slash A T L A S races back into the interstellar dark, it leaves behind more than vapor and dust. It leaves a question. What else is drifting out there, unseen? This image, this moment, is proof. The universe speaks in fragments, and we've finally heard one. But with better eyes, faster missions, and deeper questions, we may catch the next one sooner. For now, we have the image. The truth is out, but the mystery remains. <laughs>